Now this one we have to find the equation of the normal. A normal is another special type of a line with relationship to a curve. It is like perpendicular to that particular point on the curve. And for a tangent, the gradient is the same as the gradient of the curve at that particular point. In case of a normal, so let's call this M1 and let's call this M2. In case of a normal, the gradient is a reciprocal, meaning 1 divided by that gradient, but also negative. It is also negative gradient. So minus 1 by dy by dx is the gradient. So if 2 is the gradient of the curve at that particular point, the gradient of the normal is minus 1 by 2. If 3 is the gradient, then minus 1 by 3 is the gradient of the normal. If 4 is the gradient of the curve, then gradient of the normal is minus 1 by 4. So that's the relationship of negative reciprocal. Reciprocal means 1 divided by some other number. That's the idea of reciprocal. And at that particular point, dy by dx is the gradient of the curve. So let's do this. Uh, y equals to x squared minus 8. Now let's bring this x to the power, square root of x means x to the power half in index form. So we can bring it upstairs, x squared minus 8, x to the power minus half it would be if you take it upstairs. So, uh, so that's the simplified format. We need to simplify things. So that's very, very important before we can start differentiating it. It is one of the most important rules of gradient. It is the addition or subtraction rule. When you differentiate something and if there is some plus or minus sign between variables, you just write down the derivative and put down the plus or minus sign as it is. It's a rule. It's a, it's a rule of differentiation. It's the addition or subtraction rule. That's what we have been doing. It might seem very obvious, but it's a rule that we must follow. So when we individually differentiate it, so if you differentiate y on this side, dy by dx is the derivative. Now when we differentiate x squared, so the derivative is twice x. Then addition rule says, or subtraction rule says, we just write the minus sign, whatever is there, and we differentiate the next term. So 8 is the constant. The constant will be there. Rule the derivative, uh, constant rule of derivative. And then we write the n, the power of x here in front. So minus half comes in front. And x, the power minus half will reduce by 1. So minus half minus 1. So twice x, now minus 8 into minus half, if you multiply it, it would be plus 4. And x to the power minus half minus 1 is minus 3 by 2. So minus 3 by 2 is the exponent of the power. So now we have to make it positive. It's a good idea because otherwise calculation becomes complicated. x to the power 3 by 2. Now let's find the gradient. Remember to have an idea of what it looks like. This is not the exact sketch, but Roughly speaking, if this is a parabola and this is the normal. A normal is like a stab. You stab something and a tangent is like a slap. It touches it. So at that point, gradient is dy by dx and the point is 4, 12 and the gradient of the normal is minus 1 by dy by dx. Negative reciprocal. So at the point, x equals to 4. At that point, the value of x is 4. So dy by dx is 2 into 4 plus 4 divided by 4 to the power 3 by 2. And we can use indices. So 2 for the 8 plus 4 divided by. Now 4 to the power 3 by 2 means 2 squared to the power 3 by 2. So when you have a power over a power, you multiply the power. And you get 8 plus 4 divided by 4 cubed is 8. So 8 plus half. 4 by 8 is half. So 8 and a half may, means 2 is the 16 plus 1, 17 by 2. That is the gradient of the curve. Remember, the gradient of the normal is going to be not only the reciprocal, but negative reciprocal. It would be minus 1 by 17 by 2. That would be minus 2 by 17. That is the gradient of the normal. Now, let's find the equation of the normal line. y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. So equation of normal, that means we're going to write the point is 4, 12. So y minus 12, the y coordinate. So remember that rule. The tangent has the same gradient. The normal has minus 1 by m2. And the 
equation of a line is going to be y minus y1. So y minus 12 equals to m, which is minus 2 by 17, x minus x1, which is 4. Let's simplify this. Multiply the left-hand side with 17. So 17 into y minus 12 equals to minus 2 into x minus 4. So we have 17 into y minus. Now 17 into 12 is supposed to be 200 something. So let's do this. 17 into 12 and that is 204 so let's put it 204 equals to minus twice x plus 4 to the 8 so we can keep it as simple as form otherwise sometimes it is mentioned in what format your equation should be unless it is mentioned just leave it in any form you want that's not a problem mm -hmm.